right so uh, first of all i'll tell you about myself i am uh, i'm this shop all right so yeah i I've, i've taught so many students and i was it's, it's nice and i just like to teach and the maths is my favorite subject basically to tell you so if you could just tell me your favorite subject would be great all right so first of all we have this uh euclid's division lemma we have studied about this right all right so what does this lemma say a is equals to b q plus r we have studied this thing right we have this um first of all we have this uh, we have studied this from a long time like the uh, dividend is equals to divisor into quotient plus remainder correct so this is in the same form okay this part is in the same form so basically this is dividend is equals to divisor into quotient plus remainder is for r and in this thing, in this case if this r is between lies between 0 and b is that remainder will always be the smaller one right smaller than the divisor part so that is what the euclid's lemma says we'll be doing a one one question over here so that you'll get a clear idea of it right so uh just in you know, all right and one more thing i want to tell you is that hmm. so uh if you have any doubt whenever i'm uh, teaching you you can ask you can raise your hand uh, on the left side you have this hand symbol over here you can just raise your hand or type your doubts in the chat section okay you can just type your doubts over here all right so i'll just start with a question from this ncert book you have this Uh, okay, so we'll just do this first question, okay? By Euclid's lemma, the question states you have to find a one thirty-five and two twenty-five by HCF. Right. Okay, two twenty-five by HCF. Yeah. So we have the formula. A equals to B Q plus R. So यहाँ पे A what we what what shall we take A as two twenty five which is the greater number. Greater number को हम लोग divide करेंगे छोटे वाले number से right two twenty five will be equals to one twenty one thirty five into the quotient right. So first of all what shall we do? So the R will be lying in between. Wait, we'll just do it. We'll divide two twenty five. By 135 over here. Okay. So what will happen? 135 into. <coughs> All right. <coughs> so 225 divided by 135. Uh, we just uh, see what what we get as the answer. Uh, 135 divide करके into 135 into two क्या आएगा? Five twos are ten. Three twos are six. And one seven. And two ones are two. तो ये तो इससे बड़ा हो गया तो वट विल डू इज वन थर्टी फाइव इंटू वन तो विल टेक विल डिवाइड दिस वन थर्टी फाइव बाई दिस गेट जीरो ओवर टू ट्वेल्व माइनस करेक्ट ओवर ट्वेल्व माइनस थ्री विल गेट नाइन विल गेट नाइनटी एज द रिमेंडर तो यहाँ पे नाइनटी लिखेंगे यहाँ पे लिखेंगे वन आई एम सॉरी जस्ट मिनट तो यहां पर हम्म या वी हैव 135 into 1 plus 90 द रिमेंडर पार्ट करेक्ट एज वी सो इन द दिस थिंग द फॉर्मूले सो अब नेक्स्ट स्टेप हम क्या करेंगे अभी ये तो एचसीएफ नहीं होगा बिकॉज़ वी स्टिल हैव टू डू वी हैव टू कम टू द प्राइम नंबर So what we'll do is we'll take this 135 over here. We'll we'll be dividing 135 by another number. This 90. Okay, 90. यहाँ पे लेंगे. 90 के बाद we'll be doing we'll, we'll be adding another 90 into what will give me 135. Now we'll be dividing 135 by 90. तो क्या मिलेगा? Okay, 90 into 2 will give me 180. So again I'll take 90 into 1 only. All right. 90 into 1 will give me how much? Ninety uh, and plus one thirty five minus ninety five and over here. Yeah. Alright. So 
30 minus 9 given. 4. Correct? 45. 45 over here. So it will be plus 45. Next step, we will take 90. Ko either lenge. 90 equals to 45 into 2. We know that plus 0. So this, this 45 is our HCF. So HCF of 135 and 225 will be 45. Okay. So did you understand these things? And if you have any doubt, you can raise your hands and then we can, I will clear your doubts. All right. Okay. All right. So we have, uh, we have uh, our students joined in. That's great. Okay. So. So this was the first uh, exercise, first card joke, very important question. We will get this type of question in exam, okay? Next, we'll be doing the, now, this another question number two, question number four, yeah, question number four and question number five are another three very important questions which will for sure come in your exams, okay? So in this section, what we have is show that any positive odd integer is in the form of 6q plus 1 or 6q plus 3 or 6q plus 5, where q is some integer. So we have to show that any positive odd integer, okay, odd integer basically. So, um, right. yeah. <clears throat> so the question is, we now we know that um, this thing, okay? 6q plus 1, 6q plus 3, and 6q plus 5. 6q plus 1. Next, Amara Ikoga, 6q plus 3, and 6q plus 5. So we know the uh, Euclid's lemma. What does it state? It states that a equals to 1. A equals to B Q plus R. Correct. So we consider we just uh, we we assume that let here because we have six over here. We take let b equals to 6, right? b is equals to 6. Over here, we see that it is in the form of b cube plus r, correct? So, we consider karenge a equals to b cube plus 1 ke jage, b cube plus r ke jage pe, we consider a is equals to 6 cube plus 1, okay? So, now, over here, what we do is, if you have any doubts, you can... Raise your hands, right? All right, good. Can you all like introduce yourselves once by just adding your names to the chat? Hello. All right, let's just continue with the topic. All right, A equals to BQ plus R. So, here what we do is, we just add the, uh, these things, uh, just add these things up and solve it. In this case, mein kya ho A equals to 6q plus 3. Hmm? And in the last case, we have A equals to 6q plus 5. So, now in if we have this uh, 6 as the, wait, let's just go, I just show you a thing from over here. Abhi, agar humne a equals to bq plus r liya, to humne pata hai that r lies between, r will always be equals to 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, and 5. Why? Why not 6? Because 6 is equals to, right? And we don't want the number equals or greater than the quotient. Or the dividend, right? So what we do is one, two, three, four, five. We log nenge, and we'll be substituting the values for all all these cases, right? So just take another board. Yeah. So 
So, now what we'll do is A equals to B Q plus C. A ka, um, uh, we'll be trying, uh, we'll be adding uh, different different values. Uh, B Q plus R. We'll be adding different different values of B. No, R, I'm sorry. Okay. So in the first case, we'll put A equals to 6 Q plus 0. So A will be equals to 6 Q. Next, we'll be taking A equals to 6 Q plus 1. There we'll be getting, we'll be squaring both the sides. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so 6 Q plus 1 will Yeah. Hello everyone. Alright, we have like a lot of people joining in. Okay. So next case will be this and okay. And then the next again the third one. <coughs> okay, the third one will be <coughs> excuse me. A equals to 6 cube plus 2. And the fourth case will be A equals to 6 cube plus 3. Likewise, A equals to 6 cube plus 4. A equals to 6 cube plus 5. Hmm? So, in the question, they asked us, Show that any positive or integer, positive or integer is in the form of 6 q plus 1, 3, 5, where q is some integer. Now, as we have seen over here, if we add like any number, if we just, uh, what we can do over here is, we just take out common 2, okay, from this part, which will be 3 q, right? 3 q plus 1. Here, we can, we can easily say that 2 into any number is, Obviously, a even number. So, even number plus 1 is odd number. So, in case, we have odd number. In this case, in this case, we have 2 into, like, we have, again, 3q plus this 2. So, here, this, it is not odd. So, this is not odd number. Okay. Then, next, we have 2 into 3q plus 3. We know that even number over here, 2 into any number is an even number plus 3. So, we get it up. We get an odd number over here. So what we can say is in this case, this case, um, yeah, in this case, this is the second case. And over here as well, we'll get an odd number. Like I'll show you again. Yeah, we do common like 3q plus 5. Hmm? So we'll again get an odd number over here. So that, that way we can prove that. This this question is hence we can just just show, show them that it is a like it is always in this form okay six q plus one six q plus three or six q plus five the next question we have that using Euclid's lemma you have to show that square of any positive integer is either in the form of three m or three m plus one now in this case we again we have to show it this question of two Okay, the square. Like again, we'll be using the same formula. This entire exercise, okay. I have to use the same formula, BQ plus R. Okay. Hmm. So, here we this question we had 3M or 3M plus 1. So, we take 3m plus 1. Here we have b as 3. Okay, now we consider let b equals to 3. Therefore, r will be what? r will be 0, 1, 2. Okay? So, basically what we are understanding is that when the value of b will be 3 or 6, what how many numbers of values do we get for r we get three values and the last number is this n minus one other b ka value humara n hai so yaha pe r will be n minus one which is two over here in this case in the last case we had 
five minus or like six minus one. We had five, correct? All right. So, so for this, for this one, three m or three m plus one. So first we consider for three m plus zero a equals to three m plus zero. What I'll do is, all right. What we do is three m will be squaring both the sides, right? Square both the sides and uh, we'll just write down 3m ke form mein aaya mujhe a abhi a ka square is equals to 3m ka square which is 9m square which in a way is 3 into 3m ka 3 into 3m ka square correct so you are begetted in the form of 3m correct where m is this thing we consider it as m1 for this case Next case, we can consider a is equals to 3m plus 1, correct? For r is equals to 1. Now, what I'll do is square both the sides. a square is equals to 3m plus 1, the whole square. Now, we know the formula a square plus a, a plus b, the whole square. We have this as a square plus 2ab plus b square, correct? All right. So, all right. Um, <clears throat> so, uh, we have a square plus 2ab, which will give me 6m plus b square, which is 1. Then we have over here 9m plus 6, 9m square plus 6m plus 1. So, ab will take 3 as common, m square plus 2m plus 1, which will give me again the form of 3m plus 1. Okay, we get it in this form. So, now, <clears throat> all right, so, so, yeah. So, yeah, as in the beginning, as I told you, this chapter will be for six marks. The most important questions will be this. Uh, we have this formula, this very important formula sheet, yeah. So, this first thing, the, yeah, basically, so this, uh, hmm, Euclid's division lemma, A, a is equals to BQ plus R, right? So that is one very important question. Is formula pe based? Hume a question pakka aega. Okay? Again, this you have to prove the irrationality. So we have this again. Uh, next, we have this question as X, uh, this, this one. HCF of any two numbers will be HCF or LCM. If you have to find of any two numbers, will be HCF into LCM will be equal to the product of the two numbers. Okay? This is another important formula which is given. Then if you have to find the LCM of any number or you have to find the HCM of any, of any number. Okay. So we'll have these two formulae for that. Then we have, all right. After that we have, okay. We have this very important question which is asked in every 10 standard, every paper. So this is, uh, they will ask you to find out the, if you have, they, they ask you to prove if these numbers, root 2, root 3, root 5 or any root 7, they are irrational numbers. Okay. So how, we prove, how do we prove that? We prove these questions by irrationality. So I hope every one of you know what is a rational number, right? Yeah. Okay. So rational numbers are those which can be shown, which can be shown in the form of A upon B, where B is not equals to zero. Correct? So what are rational numbers? Jo is forming a dikhai ra sakte. Which can't be shown in the form of A upon B. Are rational numbers? Simple. So so we'll, uh, these are uh, this is one uh, another important thing which will be asked in the exam again yeah this is this very important formula sheet which will be given to you okay just go through this and yeah we have this dif different steps given to you over here so right so we'll get about like uh, we'll have we'll be having one short question from this one one question for one mark another question for three marks okay from this entire chapter so and and then again one one question for uh, three marks. Okay. So then what we'll be doing is the very important question as I told you one question from this Euclid's lemma Another from this exercise number two from your exercise number two We'll be using this LCM and HCF while well, a question right as I showed you the formula over here From this section over here This one. Okay. They'll be giving you two numbers. Okay. So for the two numbers, they'll, they'll ask you to find the HCF and the LCM. What you will do is you just have to multiply the two numbers and write down the HCF and the LCM. Okay. So LCM, you have to find the HCF. So again, we'll be using this formula for that. 
if they will be giving you two numbers and the hcf so we will be finding the lcm using this formula correct okay good if you have any doubts you can raise your hands in the chat uh, you can uh, write your doubts in the chat section or raise your hand okay over here in the left side okay so as yeah so as as given over here we have a uh, different thing like uh, this this one very important question as i told you okay so yeah so these are the very few things uh, so yeah that way we have only uh, two or three things very important in real numbers the first one was the euclid's lemma the second one is finding the lcm and hcf and the third one is proving if that number is a rational number okay a rational number i'm sorry so if you guys have any doubts you can just raise your hand or um try to write down in the chat anyone Right, as given over here, as we started this, uh, how how we started this thing, the lecture with this, right? The dividend is equals to divisor into quotient plus remainder, right? We have started this from a long time, from very uh, when you were very small, right? So, Euclid's lemma me sirf dividend ko a likha hai, or divisor ko b, and the quotient is written as r uh, q and remainder is r. Okay, so that's the only thing. This is very very important thing over here, and then we have counting numbers. Okay, we 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 all know these things. Natural numbers, kya hote hai? Whole numbers, kya hote hai? Integers, and uh, all right, Euclid's division lemma we have. Then we have uh, how to find the HCF and LCM. Shall we start with the next question? Finding the LCM and HCF, hmm? or shall we just I'll just explain it to you from here? What should we do? Okay, we we'll just find the prime factors. Okay, we know how to find the prime factors. Very simple. Mm -hmm. So I'll just do it over here. We have this, uh, this question as 140. Shall we take 140? Okay. Finding the prime factors of 140. Mm -hmm. Okay. Are you there with me, everyone? 140 ka prime factors find karenge. First we'll take the smallest prime number, right? That is what we do. To say this will go in 70. Again, we take a 2, then we get a 35 over here. We take a 5, we do it by 7, then 7 and 1. So abhi iska LCM kya ho jayega? 2 into 2 into 5 into 7. Correct. So this will be what? 2 twos are 4, 5 are 20, 20 into 7 will be uh, that is 120. So this will be the these will be the Things. Okay, so we take 2 ki lenge because it is twice. So we take 2 into 5 into 7 will be the LCM. 7 5s are 30 into 2, 70. 35 into 2 is 70. Correct? So 70 will be the LCM. Then in the next, next section, we have to find the LCM and HCF of the following pairs of integers and verify that LCM into HCF is a product of the two numbers. So, what do we do separately? Like as we saw here, we have this uh, formula over here, right? We'll be finding the LCM and HCF. HCF is one find and LCM is one find. Then, the products of the numbers ko A into B karenge, and we'll check if these two are equal. Okay? So, starting from here, the question is 26 and 91, okay? We take the first question only. Yeah. What you have to do is find HCF, LCM nikarna hai, fir HCF nikarna hai, and product. Hmm. So, the LCM of 26 and 91, correct? Am I going correct? Yeah, I'm correct. Okay. So, 91 and 26. 26 ka kaise karenge? 26 ke liye we have divided, we'll divide it by 2 into 13 and then 13 into 1. So, ye ho jayega 26. And um, is ka 91 ke liye we have um, this thing. Uh, we, what, what, what is, uh, what are we doing this? Uh, I guess uh, 17 into, 13 into something, right? Hmm. We have, I guess, 13 into 7. 7 3s are 21, 7 are 7. Okay, so we have this 13 into 7 and 7 into 1. 
तो हमारा एल क्या होगा वी हैव टू एंड टू थर्टीन इसका एंड इसके लिए क्या होगा एंड फॉर दिस थिंग फॉर ट्वेंटी वन इट इज दिस वॉज ट्वेंटी सिक्स एंड फॉर एल सी एम ऑफ नाइनटी वन विल बी थर्टीन एंड टू सेवन तो अभी हम क्या करेंगे we 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 do 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 in LCM we take uh, HCF what we do? We take the the common things right so 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 13 13 will be the HCF correct so, now 13 is one number and the second one up in in sub ko add, uh, multiply karenge. the second number will be टू इंटू थर्टीन इंटू सेवन करेक्ट बिकॉज थर्टीन इज द स्क्वेर हो गया तो हमें क्या मिलेगा ट्वेंटी सिक्स इंटू सेवन करेक्ट ट्वेंटी सिक्स इंटू सेवन Seven six are forty two. Seven two are fourteen and four. Eighteen. Now, if I just multiply one eighty two and thirteen, let's see what we get. Hmm? This is the is what we got. These two numbers and अभी अब मैं ninety one into twenty six करके देखूँगी एक बार तो what I get? Ninety one into twenty six will be six hundred six. Nine six are fifty four and again I'll get over here. Two ones are two. Nine twos are eighteen. So I'll get six, six, eight, and five is thirteen, and two, three, six, six. So when I multiply this, I will get the same number. Okay, one eighty two into thirteen, I'll get three twos are six, eight threes are twenty four, and one is three four five. So I'll get six, six, eight, three, and five is thirteen, and two ones are two, nine twos are eighteen, and three ones are two, nine twos are eighteen. दोनों Equal to the product of the two original numbers, right? Okay. Any doubts, students? All right. So we have this. Uh, we'll be having actually, you know, we'll be having this series for the. I mean, uh, like today we have it for real numbers, and uh, in the next few lectures, like to, from tomorrow, we'll be having like from today itself, we'll be having it every day from uh, seven to eight. Okay. Tomorrow we'll be having lecture for polynomials. Okay. Okay, I hope you guys are liking this. Okay, so find the LCM and HCF of the following integers by applying the prime factorization method. ये simple है. LCM और HCF find करना है तीनों numbers का साथ में, right? So what we do over here is how much? What's my question over here? Twelve, fifteen, and twenty-one. Twelve, fifteen, and twenty-one. What I'll do is twelve comma fifteen comma twenty-one. I'll just divide this by uh, three first. Okay, three fours are twelve. Three fives are fifteen, and three sevens are twenty-one. Again, by two ones are two, and uh, okay, five and seven just like that. So, sorry, prime numbers bach gaye. So, hume kya mila? Three into two into three into seven. Is the same? What will happen? Two into three into seven. Hmm? So seven threes are twenty-one into two, forty-two. This is our what will happen? The same. That is what they ask us to find. And what will be the HCF? The common one. This is the highest common factor. Okay. So this will be the HCF of this number. Simple. You just have to find this. They have not asked you to verify it, so no need to verify. Okay. Again, this is one important question. As I told you, according to the formula, HCF is given. HCF of two numbers is given, and LCM of two numbers you have to find out. Okay, the the first number is three zero six and six fifty seven. They have given the HCF of it, which is nine. You have to find the LCM. What formula will be using? This one. Okay, because HCF is given, so our right hand side will be here. Correct. So right hand side will be here. We will be using this one. Great. So, okay. So, is anyone having any doubts? 
We have a lot of students joining in. That's great. Okay, we have 10 almost students. Yeah, that's great. Okay. Hmm. So, huh. again, one more very important thing after this, this that, that is all in this, uh, this section. We have the next very important topic or very important question which is asked, which is root 2 is irrational. You have to prove, like you have to prove root 2 or root 5 or root 3 is irrational. Now, what they have done over here is, what we do is assume that root, whatever the question is given, if suppose root 2 is given to us, okay? What we'll do is, we'll assume that, first of all, we'll assume that root 2 is a rational number. Hmm? Root 2, we'll assume it as, is rational. What, what is this called? We call it as, assuming it, it contradiction. Okay? What is contradiction? Matlab, ulta assume kar lena, just for the sake of like, proving ki haan, matlab, sahi hai ki nahi. Okay? Let us assume to the contrary that root 2 is, is a rational number. So, what we can do is, Okay, so what we do is we, uh, we assume that it is so if it is a rational number, so uh, we know that rational numbers are in the form of a upon b. So we assume that root 2 is in the form of a upon b. Then what we can say is a is equals to b into root 2. Correct? 